Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you're listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries, the podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She lives a life of adventure and just imagine. And this is what we're going to talk about today. Just imagine a girl growing up, having adventures every day. She sleeps on a pirate ship and her father cares more about adventure. It's his dream. He is... When he's there, he's there to dream, to walk out whatever it is he's walking out, to live out his fantasy as a pirate, or whatever it is he's doing. We're not, we don't know enough about him yet. Um, and he doesn't have a lot of time to teach his daughter stuff. And he doesn't have a lot of time to parent her the right way. And, uh, you know, and by the way, when I talk about, when I talked last episode about, uh, uh, this being, a an album of our lives together. Of course, that's not the way it is. You know, you know, we don't have a life of adventure every day. Uh, we do have time to parent. We do take care of all those things. But Justin doesn't. So here is a chance to learn more about Justin trying to parent, about Joy and who she is, and uh, another slice of life in the dream while Joy was young. Enjoy her while she's still young. She's going to go up real fast. Let's go. Episode 176, Pirates in Dresses. Joy's age five, told by the Red Dragon. It was the second time in three years the Dragon Father had the idea of making Dragon Lil, his little Joy, put on a dress. The first time, when she had been two years old, did not go well. I have told you of this earlier. Little side note, go to episode six, Joy's first dress. Let's continue. A dress appeared in Dragonfather's hand while Dragon Lil ate her breakfast. That does not look comfortable, she said. It's very comfortable, he assured her. For running and fighting and jumping from roof to roof? She shook her head and continued to eat her pizza and carrots. Dragonfather tried to talk her into it for more than five minutes. It must be said that Dragon Lil did not even try to put force behind her objections. It was simply clear that she would not put on a dress. Finally, slightly exasperated, Dragonfather said, Joy, how do you know it's uncomfortable if you don't try? You have to try out new clothes. You have to try out new clothes. Dragonfather looked down at his own pirate garb. Maybe I do. I have been wearing the same thing for a few years, just like you. Let's both switch. You put on a dress and I'll put on some fancy pants and... No, Dragon Lil pointed her finger at him. I'll wear a dress if you wear a dress. Dragonfather appeared taken aback. He was silent for a few seconds, as many thoughts no doubt ran through his mind. Then he opened his mouth and said, Great idea, let's do it. Dragon Lil made a face, but she had dared her father to do it, and now that he was doing it, she would not back out. They both put on pink dresses, Dragonfather made his appeal just as easily, and then they began the adventure. They jumped off rooftops in the pink dresses. They battled villainous pirate magicians in dresses. Dragonfather was kidnapped only to be rescued by his daughter. They caught the villains and led their leader to the infinite prison, the Banner of Bunny's Revenge. Dragonfather and Dragonlil stood on the deck of Bunny's Revenge and looked at the sunset on Saturn. Dragonfather said, see, being in a dress isn't so bad. It suits you. Dragonlil immediately said in a calm voice, it suits you much more than me. You are a dress from now on. Dragonfather hung his head in resignation and sighed. Dragonlil looked at him and smiled. Dragonfather vanished. Dragonlil took off her dress and threw it overboard. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy Justin wearing a dress. Also, just like the last episode, taken from real life. Uh, with a few changes, uh, we didn't fight pirates. I actually would wear a dress if uh, I had any my size just to show uh, the girls that not just uh, girls uh, and women wear dresses. But 
I have nothing my size. And I didn't bother to go out and get me some. Anyway, uh, this is all like three different things with parenting and with growing up that are all put together. Having an argument over clothes. Uh, how do you get to a decision when uh, both people are unrelenting? Stuff like that. This is who Joy is. And this is who Justin is. Uh, it's part of who they are. And this is a slice of their life. So join us next time for the episode called Spinning. Next time, by the way, is tomorrow. It's always tomorrow where we go back to age four. And now, the credits. The Squashbuckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and, in fact, 150 Squashbuckler Diaries more. The Squashbuckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G U Y. H A S O N G U Y H A S S O N at gmail dot com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs> Thank you.